Selling is hard when you don't believe in the value of the transaction. Selling is scary when you are not really sure that the thing you are trying to sell to that person is really the perfect fit for them and that the price is right for them. Okay, so here's, let me explain this here. If you have a service that you really believe in and the person you're talking to, you know them well enough to know that they can really honestly benefit from your service and that you believe that the price is a great deal for them, for the thing that your service can do for them, then selling no longer becomes scary. Selling becomes a cause, a mission, that what you are exchange, what they are exchanging for your service, the money they are giving you and the time they're giving you to receive your service is, is actually better for them than if they didn't. Right? It's almost like you're, you're being generous and giving them something, you're giving them more than you are receiving back. That's when selling no longer is scary and it becomes a gift. And so whenever you feel that selling is scary, you need to either come back and remember why your service or product is so great. You might need to re re review some of your testimonials that you've gotten in the past or the case studies of, of what's gone well. But secondly, also really importantly, you need to understand the audience you're selling to well enough to really believe in your heart that they need this thing. Because a lot of people, they're, the reason why selling is so hard for a lot of people because they're, they don't really understand that audience they're selling to, whoever the person they're talking to. They don't really know that that person needs what they have and so they feel like they might be bothering that person. And it's true. Because if that person doesn't need what you have, you are bothering them, right? Or if the person kind of needs what you have, but doesn't need it enough to find your price such a good deal, then you are also being salesy or bothering them. But when your price is such a good match for what they need and want, you've, when you feel like it's such a great deal that you're offering them, then selling becomes a joy. Selling becomes a gift to the person that you're talking to. Um, same thing when you're thinking about approaching a partner, a potential promotional partner, an influencer to sell your product to their audience or to promote your webinar to their, to their list, email list or something. Are you giving that influencer so much value that they say, well, of course, this makes so much sense for me to bring you. Uh, maybe the commission you're giving me is so high that, wow, that feels really generous. And my audience actually really needs what you have. They've been telling me they need what you have and it's not competitive to what I do. Uh, why wouldn't I bring you to my audience is what the influencer needs to be thinking. You need to create that value for them. Um, and so, for example, one thing that I've been doing to ask influencers and, and other people with an audience to bring my workshop to their people is first of all, I make sure that it's not competitive to what they themselves do. And number two, I make sure that um, I, I take a look at their audience and what they've been saying to their audience and I notice, oh, they don't really talk about this enough. And I, it's my guess, just looking at their audience, is that their audience will be interested in this workshop topic that I want to do. And third, I pay them a very, I pay them 50% commission for, for me delivering the workshop and they just sharing it. And fourth, I even tell the, the influencer, the partner, listen, I will spend an hour with you or your team helping you with this skill that I teach in my workshop that you're not an expert in, but, I, but it seems like you would value, okay, based on what I know about you. And so the influencer is getting um, a, a benefit for their audience and so their audience will thank them. Number two, the influencer is getting commission for sharing my workshop with their audience. Third, the influencer is getting the benefit of my skill. So I make the deal such a good deal for the influencer that I feel really good about reaching. I feel like it's a gift. And so then, therefore, selling becomes a joy. So that's what I encourage you to do is, <laughs> there's my dog buddy coming to see me again. Um, I encourage you to formulate that offer for that audience until you feel like it's such a good deal that it's no longer selling, but it's more of a generous offering of true value to them.